How did you become aware, for example, that you weren't setting a good example for your boys? And like, how, how did you discover that or come to realize that? So under those constraints, your, your songwriting at that point is, is completely superficial. It's only to make a check. It's only to make a dollar. It's only to get a plaque. It's only to further yourself, um, which is highly superficial to me. And so when, when, it, when you start talking about my two sons, well, man, that's as deep as you're going to get. I mean, there's nothing more important than that to me. And so when I saw that, that the example I was setting and that they were going to be following was superficial in nature that, wow, dad's, we know dad, dad's a real McCoy, but dad's willing to go superficial if it means he keeps getting that money and getting those, those plaques. That is no way to live. I'd rather you be completely broke in your life, poor as a church mouse, but have your constitution about you and have integrity about you and be a, be a real McCoy, as we would call them in the country. I, I'd much rather my boys be that. I don't care about them, what they do when it comes to financial stuff. And so turning that corner and get, getting away from those shackles of, of what the industry was limiting me to turned me loose. I mean, it turned me loose for a minute. It's almost like, wait, you mean I can actually step over here and nobody's going to pop me? Okay. And so I step over there. Well, can I take another step? Yep. And nobody popped me then. As, as, as far as the industry, nobody popped me. Now, the press and other people, they come at me all the time. But the way I look at, uh, at people attacking what I have to say is it's validation that I hit the mark. It's validation that I said it correctly. You know, if everybody likes what you have to say, you're not saying it correctly. That, that's the way I've always thought. And that's the way I feel today. So it, it loosened me up, doctor, in such a way that I could, I could, I think, be more of a, just a wide open instrument for whatever comes in that I think's important, that's been laid on me that's important, then I can make that happen. There's no guarantee it's gonna be a, a quote success, but I can make it a reality. That's all you can really ask for. I think about uh, the Declaration of Independence when it, when it says we have the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It doesn't say we have the right to be happy or the right to be successful, the right to be rich or any of these other things. It says you have the right to pursue happiness, to go after it. The word pursuit in itself means in motion. That means happiness is a moving target. We, I'm sure you would tell me if what's happiness to you in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Well, it does change uh, as your life changes. So those are the principles that I look at. And at the end of the day, I know who gave me the ability to do it in the first place. You know, I yielded to him a long time ago. And so if you're yielded to him, to the Lord, and then he, he knows that you're willing to run through a door that he opens for you, he'll give you stuff. He'll, he'll send you things. And uh, revelation is one of those things. 